So now I'm sitting on the date with the uncle and the wife. It's a family. To the channel my name is nozipo Mahlangu, but you can call me nozi by the title of my channel it is the year 2022 and this is my first sit down video which is going to be a chit chat get ready with me hair and makeup edition my look was inspired by lungile tabete i will post the look that she posted over here so that you guys can see it i really loved the look and i wanted to recreate it it's not exactly like hers you know but it's close enough you know she did she definitely did it better but that's neither here nor there and yeah i'm also going to be telling you guys a bit of a story time of my very first tinder date and the disaster that it was if that is something that you'd like to see and hear keep on watching all right guys so as i've said in the intro we're going to be doing doing a chit chat get ready with me and I'm going to basically be doing my hair as well as my makeup. I'm going to be uh, trying to replicate this look that I saw on Instagram by Lumi Tabete. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. So I just want to recreate it, you know, because I thought she looked cute or whatever. So basically, I'm going to start off with my hair. And I'm, I've basically moisturized my hair with this Native Child Sheer Butter. So I'm not going to do that again. I've had a, quite a bit of a hectic work week. So my hair's kind of been stuck in the same style. Um, I had slicked down my edges previously and then I just like never, I just never really undid it. Um, so yeah, so as I was going to work, I was kind of just like keeping it the same. And I'm really, Liking like a, a middle, a sleek middle part low bun look. Oh, it's very Kim K S. <laughs> and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So my hair is kind of given dirty right now, but you know what? We're just gonna like make it work. You know, just like we're making life work. So basically, I'm going to give you guys like. A story time. Um, so, as you guys know, basically, my dating life is just... <laughs> my dating life is in shambles. Like, I don't know what kind of, like, Hom says we need to slaughter a black chicken or a white chicken for me. But, like, I mean, I know it's bad. But, like, I don't think it's that bad, okay? For me to end up slaughtering something, oh my gosh. Is that what it's come to? How tragic so anyways we all know my dating life is kind of like in shambles and basically um, I was like okay cool so meeting people in person is clearly not working for me so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try a dating app now I had tried this dating app well I hadn't tried it but I had downloaded it previously and I was like okay so what I'm gonna do is uh, create a profile and then just see what it's about but like this was like years ago you know and then <laughs> this was years ago and i did not last on the app i was like oh hell no uh -oh. i was like oh hell no like the guys like no disrespect to those gentlemen on the app But baby, a woman of my caliber should not be subjected to that. Like, it's just, no, it just was not working. It just was not working, guys. It was so bad. So I deleted the app immediately. I didn't even last five minutes on it. And then, fast forward a few talking stages later, you know, an entire pandemic later. And I was just like, you know what? I... I can't do it. I was like, meeting people like at Groove and stuff is all good and dandy, but like, it's just not working for me because now like, I just, it 
it just wasn't working. <laughs> the way that I was meeting people just was not working for me. Um, and I just, yeah. And the people that I was meeting, um, I mean, they're cool people and stuff, but just, it just, it's not, the compass are just not communicating. So the first thing that I do is that I kind of just comb my hair into the direction that I wanted to go into. And then I kind of just play off of that, you know. Uh, sometimes the crown of the head, depending on how thick your hair is, may just like be a bit problematic, but you just have to keep like brushing it and making sure that it's the same, especially here in the front, because the head does tend to gather up over here and then leave this space over here. So, you know, let me just, So anyways, yeah, so then I'm like, okay, cool. You know what? I guess at this point, the only thing that's left for me to do is try a dating app. I went back to my dating app, which was Tinder. I created a profile and I had set a limit of like three, three dates. I said to myself, okay, you know what? I'll give it a try. I'll go on three Tinder dates. And if nothing comes of that, sweetie, it's okay. I don't have to, you know, I don't know. It's, it's really, it's okay. We don't have to force things. And so I created my profile and so now I'm just tying the hair up. You can make it as low as you want, obviously, depending on like the look that you're going for, but I'm literally channeling Kim K, Courtney, Kardashian, you know. So I make it as low as possible and then I kind of just like make it like a small little bun thing. Like so. Can you see that? Cool. So I basically So I basically, I create this profile and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to be open-minded. Like I had to, I had to at least try, you know, to say that, okay, I've tried it. It didn't work, whatever. Okay. So I create my profile. Oh my gosh. And no, no disrespect if your name is Vusi Musi, but like, cause I was meeting about Vusi Musi. I would chester, you know, like, oh. and I'm sure they're wonderful. <laughs> I'm sure they're wonderful human beings, you know, um, but just, it just, it didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't clicking. So anyways, um, obviously because I'd never done this dating app thing before, I guess my selection process was kind of <laughs> flawed. So I, I basically uh, matched with this guy who was from the UK, Canada, Canada, he was from Canada and he was visiting SA and oh, to sleek my edges, I'm using the got to be ultra glued and he's from Canada and he said he was, uh, was it visiting SA and whatnot. So, okay, cool. So then like literally the day that we matched, was the day that we went on the date, you know. He did not explain to me that, um, like his profile didn't say, oh, I'm only here like briefly or whatever, you know, it just said, no, I'm lying. It did say visiting South Africa, but I was like, okay, it's fine. Like in my mind, in my mind, I'm not thinking like he's gonna leave like soon soon, you know, I'm thinking like maybe we can go on like two or three dates, you know, and then like that can be that. Okay. <laughs> so then I, um, um, okay, so just a disclaimer, I don't particularly like putting, um, uh, what's it, edge control or gel on like the whole head because wash day becomes a hassle and so I usually just do the edges and it still looks really cute. So then um, he's like, like his profile, I think he did say like visiting SA, you know, 
I'm thinking, okay, maybe brother is going to be here for like a little bit of a while, you know. And okay, cool. So we we set it up so he's like no i'm available this day and because of work like i'm not always available and that weekend like i was down for it you know i was like okay cool like let's do the state thing you know like i'm i'm ready i'm available i've spoken to my brain i've spoken to my heart like let's do this you know so cool um we we chatted up we exchanged whatsapp numbers it was a friday so he's like no i'm available for the evening but i need to spend time with my family you know um so i'll hit you up as soon as we're done i'm like oh, okay cool so then as we're like setting this thing up he's like okay so where can we go and whatnot i'm like okay no this place called saint depends what kind of vibe you're looking for you know um saint is kind of like restauranty but it's also kind of like groovy so after eating like then maybe we can like do the the more groovy side you know it's like oh that's amazing that's awesome cool i'm like all right cool <laughs> he says to me there's going to be a bunch of us he says there's going to be a group of us but don't worry you'll have my undivided attention i'm like okay no that's fine even like for a first date like i don't mind group settings especially because it was my first ever tinder date i was like okay no that's fine you know we can we can we can work with that we can make that work you know hi okay um now i'm preparing myself and whatnot i'm getting my outfits ready it's cute you know i'm looking cute i got my makeup done like man you know the combos are just like communicating i'm like oh my gosh it's my first tinder date and like i put it up on my close friends and stuff like i was giving them like detail by detail like what was essentially happening even like between like our conversations on whatsapp you know so i was like i was sharing that because they were like gonna go on the date with me so i get ready i make my way there um first of all he was late um so was i but he he was late and remember now he told me that there's a group of us okay actually back let's let's rewind so he tells me that there's a group of us i'm like okay no that's fine um especially for a first date like i'm not pressed i'm now laying the edges so that it like all just like looks together you know so he's like no there's going to be a group of us i'm like oh okay cool no that's fine so then he's like okay cool so i'm like okay must i book a table at saint and he's like yes i'm like okay cool so there i am you know um i go into dine clan i book a table and we're doing it we're going on this tinder date okay I decided to just do my brows off camera because it was just gonna take too long to do everything so excuse me we're starting off here so anyways so he's like to me okay no um you can book the the table you know i'm like okay cool how many people am i booking it for he's like um he's like to me um what's it six or eight i'm like okay cool so it means like it's gonna be like a big group you know i'm thinking he doesn't elaborate on the fact that on like who the people that are coming are going to be you know so i'm assuming it's like friends or something you know like i'm not thinking i'm not thinking anything like too too hectic you know okay cool so there i am i get cute i make my way to saint you know um i was about like five or six minutes late and i had to call the restaurant to let them know that we were we were all just like running late because he was also late so cool i get there and he's the only one at the table basically and i'm like okay cool this is fine <laughs> i'm like okay so he's like i get there first impression is he's very tall um he had hair now there's nothing wrong with black men having hair i particularly do not like men that have hair <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. You know, men should experiment with their hair, you know. I mean, make it green if you want to. I mean, you guys have seen my cousin. My cousin has green hair, sometimes blonde, sometimes pink, you know. Um, she is trans though, but you know. Before she had really um, gotten into becoming trans, um, you know, cause she was non-binary at first. 
but she was she had green hair she had you know whatever so i i, I don't i don't have like a thing against black men doing their hair just for me somebody that i'm going to be in a relationship with it's not particularly something that i prefer you know but either way it's not like a determining factor so i'm like okay cool let's see where this is gonna go you know <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty um, Rose Gold Edition palette for this look. So, okay, wait, I just need to look at a picture of it just to get a better understanding. So, the first color that I'm going to go into is this one, which is Man Eater, that one. So, anyways um so my brother you know he's there and i mean i know it's wrong of me to say and it's probably very ignorant but like first thing i noticed was that he didn't have an accent i was like okay why don't you have an accent like what also what do canadians sound like i think that was actually very stupid of me because what do canadians sound like do they just do they sound like american-ish i don't know anyways so that's the first thing that I just like noticed about him was that like he didn't actually have like much of an accent but whatever you know it's not it's not a thing it's not a thing you know cool he says to me I get there he says to me you know um, everybody is gonna join us at a later stage I'm like oh, okay cool and it's like no they're just giving us time you know together I'm like okay no, no worries so now we're sitting at the table and of course the waiter comes and he gives us like the menus you know and i said that i wanted a wine i i, I wanted like a, a red wine i was kind of i was feeling kind of sick i was kind of feeling i was feeling kind of you know so i'm like no um actually let me just sweep this in so you guys can get it so i'm like no uh, i'd like a, a red wine so then he says to me no he likes um what's it this specific wine like so i'm like oh go right ahead you know if there's something that you can recommend then cool we can someone's talking about me we can we can try that you know i'm like okay cool now for me personally i knew the kind of wine that i wanted because this is wine that i had on my birthday that i've been searching for okay and people find it anyways so now we're um we're at the table and then he takes the the, the wine menu and he is basically going wine we need to figure out why <laughs> so um okay cool he's like he's busy looking there he's busy looking okay and i tell him okay i'm like i want a merlot um there's a specific one that i like but if they don't have it here i generally want a merlot you know and then he's like no i don't really like merlot i like i don't know what what did he say he wanted he said he wanted a specific kind of wine and then he said that uh he wanted one with berry flavors i'm like oh berry flavors okay okay berry you know so it's like he wants one with like berry accents and whatnot i'm like okay sir let's go okay you must be knowing your ones you know okay then essentially he was taking so long to look at um what's it the um, the drinks menu like it was taking him forever so then i was like okay no i asked the waiter i was like okay no can we please get the sommelier to come okay cool so the guy comes and we tell him like what we both want and then he recommends something that kind of would have been like a, a blend so that we both kind of get like what we want you know i'm like okay cool we can make that work all right shop Okay, now this man comes to our table as I'm looking at the menu um, to like the food menu this time. This man comes to the to the table. It's his uncle. It's his uncle. Okay, okay. Maybe the uncle is fun. Maybe he he's really youthful. You know maybe he's not like you know i'm like okay 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 
So the uncle comes to the table. The uncle is drunk. <laughs> the uncle is lit at this point. I'm like, okay, 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 it's fine, it's okay, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know how many times I said okay. <laughs> But I'm like, okay, no, it's fine. It's okay. Maybe it's just a really young, you know, somebody being your uncle doesn't necessarily mean that you can't hang, you know. I'm like, okay. I'm guessing that this is one of the six or eight people that are coming. Okay, cool. Okay. The uncle is kind of lit and whatnot. So then we tell him, we're like, okay, no, we're about to um, order food. And then he's like, okay, cool. All right. And then he's like, no, I just need to call this woman to let her know that we're, we're about to order. Like, I, I wanna know what she wants to order. No stress, you know, he's probably bringing his partner. I'm not thinking, I'm not thinking too deeply about this, you know, at this point. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. Um, okay, cool, so that happens. And then the guy comes, he gets us a drink. Okay, cool, Heike. Now, it's like, um, the uncle comes and he's like, no, I still need to get a hold of, um, what's it, this lady, he doesn't say her name, so I still need to get a hold of this lady because um, I don't know what she wants to eat. Okay, okay, shut. Cool, so now I'm like, okay, so then what should we do because now at this point the kitchen is going to close, so what should we do, can we order? He's like, yeah, no, it's fine, you guys can order, okay, cool, we order and whatnot, you know, at that time he telling, he's telling me, my date is telling me that, no, he's... Uh, vegan he's on a vegan diet he's not drinking but uh, tonight he, he he feels like you know he's gonna have a drink I'm like okay cool I mean you know to each their own if you haven't been drinking for a while and now suddenly you want to drink like that's kind of like your own prerogative like no pressure from me you know I get so then we end up getting the wine we order our food and whatnot the uncle comes back to like sit sit with us you the uncle is not a bad person, but I think he does not know, he doesn't know how to read social cues, number one. Number two, he's just one of those uncles that just say things. Like he just says things because that's, what on his, that's what's on his mind, you know? But I'm me. So if you're gonna come at me like that, so I don't care how old you are, I'm going to like, you know, so he kept doing this thing where he would pretend like he doesn't know like how to pronounce my name. He's black. He's from Zimbabwe. You know how to say Nozipo. It's not a difficult name. Anyways, he's like, oh, you said your name is was Nozimbo, Nozibo, yay, yay. And then he's like, oh, you guys have such difficult names. Like, um, what's it? I've been coming across a lot of Ntokosos and whatnot. And I'm like, but why are you making that sound like it's such a difficult name to say? Like now, now me and the uncle are going back and forth at the table. My date is mom. <laughs> My date is mom, but I'm like, okay, it's whatever, you know. I, I guess they're used to the uncle like being like this, you know. I'm like, okay, it's cool, whatever. Like, I'm, I'm not really phased. And also, like, I'm just generally used to people. Like, people don't generally phase me, so I was just like, hey, sir, it's okay, you know. Be, be, be you, be you. All right, so now as the date goes on, you know, he and I are talking, he's a, he's a really cool gentleman. He's a really cool gentleman, you know. Uh, the thing was, that he's just like, he's just not for me. But he, generally as a person, he's a really chill person. Like, we had banter, you know, we, you know, he was understanding my references to things. Like, it was, it was cool, you know. And then the uncle would interrupt. The next guest comes. Is it not the uncle's wife? So now I'm sitting on the date with the uncle and the wife. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. I'm meeting the family on the first day. What you mean? Take me to your mama. <laughs> okay. I'm meeting the whole family. Okay. Let me tell you something. They will know where the cows are going. Okay. <laughs> so we're chilling. So then we're chilling, I meet the wife, she was really, really sweet, you know, um, but guys, like, it was so strange, because like, sometimes I dress like a little hoochie, you know, and my dresses are short, especially because I'm generally short, 
short dresses look good on me rather than long dresses you know because long dresses will make you shorter when you're short you know like they'll swallow you up so now i'm there this lady is so sweet and what i'm looking like a little hoochie guys i'm looking like a little hoochie i've got my short dress but i'm like i dude we live in a liberated um century now you know it's, it's a liberated generation if you're not with it <laughs> forget about it if you don't get it forget about it you know so i'm like okay no it's fine whatever so then at this point i asked to excuse myself to go to the bathroom i get to the bathroom and i'm like what the hell at this point the uncle has like probably offended me maybe like three or four times but of course i've kept my cool and i know how to handle old-fashioned patriarchal men like yeah, i'm not like we can go at it let's go you think you know you think you know so let's go you know so then yeah so then we chill i went to the bathroom and i'm pretty sure they were talking about me at that time because i went to the bathroom and the wife had arrived and like as i was getting up from the table like i had to pull my dress down and like it was just man it, it was just um, you know anyways i come back from the bathroom and you know the uncle is just like still at it you know so now they start talking about their daughters and how their daughters are getting into like social media and stuff you know i'm not just gonna sit there and be like quiet like i mean we're all at the table so hello you know so we're busy talking and whatnot and he's like he's got a problem with the fact that the daughter i think she was in matric and he's got a problem with the fact that the daughter is like on social media a lot in any you know and i was like yeah well you know and he's like no he took her phone away or something like that i'm like taking her phone away isn't going to stop her from having access to social media you know there's so many other ways she has friends she's going to find a way you know fine so it leads to that and then at some point they found out my occupation so they were like asking me questions about my occupation at dinner at dinner <sighs> so cool um i'm okay with that you know especially when it comes to like educating black people you know i want our people to be healthy i want us all to make like good decisions so i i really didn't mind that aspect but it's like <sighs> On a first date, I'm not really trying to, I'm not really trying to do all day, you know? But okay, cool. And then the uncle starts another discussion with me and says, um, he doesn't think that I am pretty because I wear makeup. I'm like, I'm like, okay, elaborate. He's like, no. So he, he's like a dark skinned man. So he's like to me, no, I'm, I know for sure that I am more beautiful than you because I don't wear makeup and because of the color of my skin. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay, but now I don't wear makeup because I'm trying to hide anything. His wife is sitting right next to him. I'm like, I don't wear makeup because I'm trying to hide anything. I wear makeup to enhance what is already there. I could take my makeup off right now and I am still a beautiful black woman, you know. And you being dark skin and not wearing makeup does not necessarily mean that you are then automatically regarded as like more beautiful than me but also me being fairly lighter than you does not make me more beautiful than you you know the wife is sitting there and she's just like i guess in her mind she's like oh get him because <laughs> she didn't intervene at all she didn't say anything you know and yeah that's essentially oh and then the 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 fourth guest came and it was the cousin <laughs> it was the cousin and yeah but the cousin was pretty cool like he was young he was youthful you know so we were all just like chilling at the table talking and you know we had general conversation and then me and my date would kind of like have our own little moments of like us talking and then everybody else would kind of like join in or whatever like you know it wasn't it wasn't rigid but it was just fairly uncomfortable because it's his family you know and like why didn't you tell me that your family was coming anyways 
the date ended um managed to get along with everyone but after the date had ended they wanted to go to the news cafe or something like that um i was like yeah no but i just i need to go home first before i can come there and then like i will let you know like what's going on you know uh whether i'm up for it or not i never saw or spoke to him again ever again so my very first tinder date was not the best because I got to meet the whole family on the first date which is generally just like not ideal you know I, I would not recommend that but it just so happened to happen that way for me and yeah that's just how the date ended so as for me and tinder I have since deleted my profile <laughs> like I not only just deleted the app like I excuse me deactivated the entire thing because I was just like no this is just not for me and also I just I generally feel like tinder tinder isn't tinder isn't like I don't think it's for like relationships man I think it's for like if you're DTF you know if you in town and uh, you know I just don't think that it's ideal for like trying to date date because even just like that one experience I'm just like so, uh, uh, I don't want to do that again I don't want to go through that again I don't so um, but I have heard that Bumble is apparently like a lot better than um, Tinder so if Tinder is your thing I mean if dating apps are your thing they're not for me but if it's like your thing then I would suggest like that you know like that that would be where you should probably start and not Tinder Tinder, Tinder, Tinder is for hookups. Tinder is for hookups. Whether we want to, like, you know, it doesn't matter how you try to work. It, it, Tinder is for hookups. And that's it. That's it. L and it's okay. Let it be that. Just let it be. So now I need to try to create, like, a, a winged liner thing. Um, with the same color that I started off with. Uh, on the bottom This is where I need you <laughs> Okay, so I've now done the eyeshadow pretty much what the look looks like. I don't know how close I am You guys let me know what you think <laughs> Actually, I'll show you at the end. I'll show you at the end. So now, it's time for me to do the rest of my face. I'm going to have to... Oh, my ear, my piercing. Damn it. Jesus. So, I'm basically going to peel this away. Do you know? So that we're able to do our forehead. So now, seeing as we're starting off with um, our face, I'm going to go in with my um, Bobbi Brown Hydrating Fresh Cream Primer. Um, yeah. So, yeah, now that we know about my dating woes and how my first date went, um, I've, <laughs> I have um, retired from dating apps from i mean not dating in general but like looking you know i don't want to i don't like it i just don't want to keep doing this to be honest if like if i'm completely honest i don't want to have to keep doing this it's just I, it's okay we don't have to do this like we really don't have to do this i'm going to just clean that up because now it's going to mix it with my Uh, we don't have to do this, you know, like I just feel like whatever is meant for you will happen when it's Supposed to happen and I just don't think that it's meant to happen for me right now <laughs> With my track record I just I'm just like not confident that this is what's meant for me. So 
I'm retiring. I am retiring and maybe I shall return at some point, but for now I am I'm okay. Like I am okay. I'm not pressed for it to happen. Um I haven't had pleasant experiences and I just like I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. So oh my ear is so pink. Jesus. Yeah, I'm just sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired of men. It's just not cute. So it is what it is. Whoever comes comes, whoever doesn't doesn't. And it's okay. So yeah, so now my main my main thing is just going to be focusing on what makes me money, which is my career. Does that sound sad? Does that sound like oh she's giving up? <laughs> because I hope it doesn't sound like that because that's just I'm not pretty full, you know, like I, I don't feel sorry for myself. I'm just like it's okay hey like we don't have to we don't it's okay this we don't have to do this like we don't have to do this at all And then I'm gonna go in with my NYX uh, soft matte lip cream for like that nude look that I'm so obsessed with. Like I mostly just do nude lips because I just feel like it looks so beautiful. Like nude, just like. And I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline um, Vivid Hot Liqueur in the color Unreal. 64. So, you yeah, guys, I guess the moral of the story is one, take care of the earth. <laughs> Two, uh, if you're single and you're looking for some booty. I mean, try it out, test it out for yourself, but um, yeah, perhaps Tinder is not the best to go for that, if that's what you're looking for, but to each their own, you know, I don't bash it, if it works for you, then do it, you know, it didn't work for me. Here, bud, spray a little bit of that on there. So guys, we've managed to get the hair done. You guys have had, you guys have heard about my very sad, sad dating life, or rather, my sad, sad story about my first Tinder date. <laughs> I really hoped it was gonna go much better than it did, but I'm glad that I tried it. I know that now that, that platform is just really not for me. Uh, am I willing to try other dating apps? Mm. I just feel like the compass aren't communicating like that for me, to be honest. But, you know, if it's something that you want to try, I would definitely recommend that you do try it. And you literally, you never know. You literally never know when you could meet the person that you're meant to be with, you know. And also, the world is just so big. Like, let me travel first. Maybe the love of my life isn't even South African. So, there's that. You know, so why limit yourself? 
well guys you've reached the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching this video and my content and for continuously supporting me if you like this video don't forget to hit that the uh, if you like my channel and my content don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time i post a video i'm so excited for 2022 i'm so excited for the content that i'm going to create for you guys for the consistency and to show up for myself you know most importantly so if you want to be part of that journey don't forget to subscribe once again and i'll see you next time bye